This is what happens when a man has no leverage. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a very controversial topic that's being discussed right now all over the internet. I'm talking about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere, and that is the drama between actress Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend, Darius Jackson. Here's what happened. Kiki Palmer wears a skimpy, revealing outfit to an Usher concert. She's able to get on stage and get serenaded by the world-famous R&B singer. Now, video of this goes viral, and the boyfriend is at home, apparently, and he responds in a negative way about her outfit, talking about the outfit. You're a mom, though. He's mad. Then he doubled down on the negative comment, talking about we live in a generation where you can't say anything about your wife and the mother of your kids and showing her booty cheeks. It was a whole big mess. Now, there are some on social media who are on his side saying she shouldn't have been wearing that. It's disrespectful. She was on stage with Usher, hugged up. Then there are some who are saying you can't control what she does. Let her be. She just had a baby. Let her live. From my point of view, I think he was whack, and he's trying to gain leverage because he has none, and his attempt failed. Now, before we go any further, let's just watch the video in question. I won't have any sound here because copyrights and whatnot, I don't want to have that. But you see what's happening right here. That's Kiki right there. This is Usher. They're on stage having a good time. You can see her outfit. It's like a little romper type thing going on, a black romper type situation. And that's what it's called. I don't know all the names. Then there's a sheer kind of covering that covers her whole body. But you can see right through it, right? You can see right through it. And... At a certain point, she's going to turn around and then you're going to see what's the problem. I may have to censor that part, actually, because I think that is the, the root of the actual issue here. Now, this, from my point of view, this little dancing they're doing, that's not anything major at all. This is just regular stuff, okay? This is regular stuff. It's not really that big of a deal, okay? She's being serenaded. It's, it's okay. It's not, it ain't that big of a deal. But then at a certain point, you're going to see why the boyfriend is getting triggered, right? So, boom, turn around. We got we got booty cheeks, all right? And that right there was his issue, okay? That was the issue. Now, I'm, I'm here to tell you right now, there's nothing that he can actually even do about that. There's nothing he can do about that because he has no leverage. Let me explain what's going on. You see, here's a headline right here in this article. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, Darius Jackson, calls out her outfit on Twitter. You a mom. So to that video, he had quote tweeted it and said, you're a mom, meaning he was upset about it, right? Oh, that outfit, you're a mom, you shouldn't be wearing that. He's a hypocrite because he's online with his shirt off and boxer drawers on, trying to do little thirst traps, okay? And then he had a video of her where he was showing her off too. Hold on. Before we get to that and what he said, let's go back a little bit because when she was pregnant, here's a headline right here. Darius Jackson films Kiki Palmer's twerking booty for Instagram. Thanks their son for transforming her body because she gained a little bit of weight after the baby. She was very thin before this. She's not fat now, but she definitely gained weight after the baby. Okay. And then this video right here, that's Kiki right there in a little cat suit and she's twerking. And this guy put it on his own social media. And he says, my son done transformed Kiki. So he's happy about this of her and his little cat suit twerking, but he's mad about her showing her butt in front of Usher. Is it about her showing her butt or is it about her being with Usher? Because in my mind, the twerking in the cat suit right here is the equivalent of her showing her butt in front of Usher. And if you want it to be private and not public, why did you upload this to social media for all of us to see? Anyway, <laughs> so I think it's more about her being on stage with Usher and again, him trying to have that leverage, him trying to have that power. So he doubled down on the actual tweet. Let me read this right here. And by the way, I think his account has been deleted because I went back to his um, Twitter and the whole account is gone. But anyway, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase her booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case now, sir, <laughs> sir, 
my man. Okay, and that, that's the original tweet right there. But look, I'm going to come back so you can see me clearly. I'm going to come back. Darius, if you can hear me, hear me well, please, sir. You have no leverage. First of all, y'all not even married. That's, that's your baby. That's, that's your girlfriend, your baby mama. Y'all not even married. So you're already doing things wrong. If you want to have that kind of traditional role and rule of the house, get married before you had the baby. Y'all not even married, number one. Number two, who are you? Who are you, though? Darius Jackson, what do you do for a living? Kiki Palmer clearly is a breadwinner. If she's not, I can't tell. Who are you? What have you done in your life? Kiki Palmer is world famous. She will be the next Oprah from my point of view. Okay, so you have no leverage. Tell her anything. And you know why I know that? You know why I know that for a 100% fact? If you had leverage, you would not have gone to social media to try and gain leverage. You see, you were trying to gain the court of public opinion to make her acquiesce to your will as man in the house. Oh, I, I want to be the man, but you, you don't have that type of authority because check it. What are you really going to do? What are you going to do to make her not do that? What, what can you do? And, and before I get into that, you knew who you had from the very beginning. Kiki Palmer will dress like that. It is what it is. You knew that from the beginning. You even showcased her dressing like that while she was pregnant, and you you filmed her twerking and put it on the internet. You knew what you had from the beginning. But you want to be the man and assert dominance, but you got to go to social media to get leverage from there because you have no leverage at home. Look, you want to try to tell her something? What's she going to say? I wear whatever I want to wear. I'm Kiki Palmer. Who are you? And what are you going to say? I'm going to leave you. All right, bye. I got the baby. You're not getting the baby. We're not married. Ain't going to be no child support. Ain't going to be no alimony. The mom is going to have the baby most of the time. Like, <laughs> you're not going to go to court and be like, hey, you know what? I want custody because she was at the Usher concert um, wearing a revealing outfit. They're going to laugh you out of court. They will laugh you out of court. And do you have any money, sir? Like the way she has it, them lawyers she's going to have would drown you. You're not married. You can't get divorced from her. You, you can't get nothing. You'll probably cohabitate in the house that she pays for. You have zero leverage. You went social media to try and gain it, but it didn't work. All you can do is just be quiet and really you should apologize to her. Sorry, sorry for putting it out there like that. Look, if you got a problem, go to her directly. Go to her directly. But like I said, you know, you know, you can't do that because you can't tell her anything. What you should do is like Oprah's 40 year plus boyfriend with no kids Stedman. Do like him. Be quiet. Nicki Minaj's boyfriend, the guy that went to jail for ex offending. They don't say a word. They play the cut. They just let the leader lead. Oprah is a leader. OK, Nicki Minaj is the leader. The boyfriends will come out and say they don't come out and say, oh, Nicki Minaj, you had on a revealing outfit. You think that he's going to say something like that on social media or do an interview talking about Nicki Minaj talking in the video? I ain't like that. Really? <laughs> really? So when y'all got married, y'all never you never saw her twerk in the video before. Now, all of a sudden, you want to try to assert dominance over the breadwinner. How dare you? How dare you? It ain't, it ain't going to work. You have no leverage. Y'all not married. You, you, the baby, she'll take the baby. If you want to buck on her, what's going to happen is she'll be like, all right, bye. Kiki Palmer is a beautiful woman, too. So she could just find somebody in Hollywood to fill that male companion role or another regular normie if she wants to go that route. She has money and family to help raise a baby. I'm not saying it's right to raise a baby like that, but... You should have got married, too. That was the first mistake. But if worse comes to worse, she has no need for you. Now, if y'all were to be married, now you got some leverage. Hey, you know what? Let's let's do things a certain kind of way. You don't want to do it. You're going to get a divorce. I was at in the third. Then you could take half of her possessions, half of her money, child support. Not child support, but spousal support. But you don't have that. Imagine Stedman coming out and doing an interview talking about, oh, well, I saw a video of Oprah 
with Gail and they were too close and buddy, buddy, lovey, lovey. I didn't like that. You know, that's not how a wife and mother does. We're like wife and mother. So we're not married. We don't have no kids together. What are you talking about? Wife and mother. What are you talking? If you don't like it, then get out. That is what's going to happen. The guy Darius understands that. So you go to social media to try to fix like that's kind of childish. Really? That's very childish. I would never go to social media to air out a, Grievous with somebody, not not a romantic interest, especially. Look, if I got a problem with you, if me and a young lady are dating, we together, and I got a problem, I'm going to call her on the phone. Like, yo, here's the issue. Let's talk about it. FaceTime, phone, text, whatever. I'm going to contact her directly. I'm not going to social media. That's what guys who have zero leverage do because they're trying to gain leverage. And it didn't even work because it was backlash from those guys who are like me saying that he's weak and he's soft and he's phony for that. Women who were saying, you can't control her. You can't police her body. Nobody really, well, I ain't going to say nobody supported him. There was some support, but it doesn't matter. He could have had all the support in the world. When it comes back to his personal life and his household, that support online makes no difference because he still has no leverage. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to the boyfriend. I understand, you, I understand your, your viewpoint. You got frustrated. And in a moment of weakness at the crib, you go out, you go out and say something like that. I get it. I understand. But it was really whack to do it because it didn't help you at all. There was not going to be anything positive that came from it. You probably got to apologize to her right now. If you want to stay around in the house that she probably pays for again, I don't know what he does. He could be a real estate mogul or something like that. But again, if you are somebody if you have things going on for yourself, you don't do things like this because you're not worried about what she's doing. Either you're going to accept it or you're going to walk. If you are trying to fight for your position at the same time, trying to control her, then you go to outside sources for leverage. Plain and simple, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, how do you feel about what's going on here with Kiki Palmer and the boyfriend, do you think the boyfriend was right to air out his drama online? Uh, do you think he was wrong? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Uh, that was desperation at best. You know you have no leverage. You can't tell her anything. So you try to find leverage outside of your relationship. It don't work like that. Either you can say something or you can't. And if you can't, accept it or walk. That is your options. You can accept what's going on or leave. You don't have leverage to make demands. That's not how this whole thing works. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.